What up, though? I'm Cedric Sutton. This is Balance of Power. You came here to learn, so let's get it in. Today's lesson is a continuation of a lesson we've already started. The concept of always be winning your person. Now, we've talked about ways in which you can help with the maintenance, maintaining your relationship. And we've done that mostly in the companion video to this, where we talked from the man's perspective of what men need to do in this area. But today is for the ladies. Today is the woman version, woman edition. So ladies, you also need to still be dating your person. Now, you probably already heard me say this in the man version, that if you're thinking to yourself, well, dating my person, I already know how to date my person, I'm good. I'm in the dating stages right now, of course we're dating. This, this video, as well as this companion video, these are about mostly for people who are in long-term relationships already. You've already been in the game for a while and you've got some kind of a title, like you're the wife, you're the girlfriend, you're, you're his woman, you are there. You are there. Now, for those of you who don't have a title yet, you're still going to be hearing things in this video that are going to help you, so you can still pay attention. This is still great for you, but this is mostly for people who've been in the game for a minute, all right? Now, gentlemen, you're probably going to notice that I speak to the ladies in their video a lot softer, and I'll use different words than how I spoke with you, because I'm talking to women. And in order to make sure that the women can hear me, I'm adjusting how I talk. It's what you should be doing as well. When you're talking to your lady, you can't just think about how it feels for you as if you were talking to another dude. Women communicate differently than we do. And so in order for a woman to have it hit their ears the way it should, in order for a woman to be able to take it in and actually pay attention and listen and not be caught up with the, oh, like that was so harsh, we're thinking about the woman's feelings, as you should. Like I said, gentlemen, it's a tip that you could use for yourself, and this is a class. I'm teaching you how to keep it together. So ladies, let's get into your video. Bang, bang. Now there are six elements that I'm going to be putting into this. So in these six elements, like I said, if you're not deep into a relationship, it's okay. You're still going to learn things. So these elements, ladies, are to help you know exactly what to do. This is not all of the elements. There are a lot more, but at least these six will give you a great foundation on what you should do, need to do in order to be dating your man. Yes, to continue to date him. Now, weirdly, the percentage of you being the one to plan the date, ladies, will be way different in the beginning of the relationship versus now. So in the beginning of the relationship, the percentage should at least be 1 to 10 at minimum. Meaning, for every 10 dates you have with this person, in the beginning stages, at least one of those dates, ladies, out of the 10, should be you, meaning you handle it, you plan it, you all the stuff, it's you. You ask him, you put it together where he gets to kick back, at least one of ten is the minimum. Even if you feel that you should be the one being pursued and all that good stuff, you should be the one being pursued, but at the same time, you're still applying for the job of girlfriend as well. Just like he's applying for the job of boyfriend, in the beginning, you're applying for your job too. He also needs to see how you work and if you work at all. So there's a minimum, ladies, of one to 10, okay? For every 10 dates, at least one of them need to be done by you. So that means he does nine, you do the 10th one. He does nine, you do the 10th one. You get what I'm saying. Now, the deeper you get into a relationship, that percentage is gonna change. Your requirement ladies is going to go up just how the game go in the beginning is going to be mostly him but then when you're in especially like a long-term relationship you're living together you are damn near married or actually married yeah you should be thinking about and planning and doing dates almost as much as him maybe 
we will accept 5149. We will, as men, accept more of the responsibility when it comes to planning dates and, and doing the wooing and the stuff like that. We will. So it is still slanted in your favor, ladies. But, like I said, it's going to increase. And we can go into reasons why later when we start getting into the whole dating thing. But if you're a wife, yo, you need to be putting in just as much in terms of romance and keeping it together as him. It's not just all him. He might have did a lot in the beginning to get you, and he still has his job. I made him go first with these videos. But you still have a job to do as well. And these elements are going to help you. It's not all of them, but they're going to give you a great foundation. Element number one. Make sure you do it. it sounds weird and self-explanatory, but I don't think you women understand, and I know that sounded bad, let me say that sentence in a better way, I don't think, ladies, that it dawns on you, hmm, see, see gentlemen how I did that? The moment I said, you women, I already heard them going, what you mean, you women? So you say the same sentence in a nicer, better way, and she can take it in better. Is it a lot of work for you gentlemen? Yes. But at the same time, do you want her to hear you or do you not? So, it might not dawn on you ladies, but we as men do not get that much stuff from you. Because of what I already mentioned, that in the beginning, you will have like maybe, maybe a 1 to 10 ratio at minimum. And at most, it'll be 25%. So one out of four. For every four dates, the woman's doing one of them in terms of planning and all this other stuff. That's what we would get from a really good woman would be 25%. If it's beyond that, dude, hit the jackpot. We as men do not really, especially, and I hate mentioning the year, but hey, Sometimes you got to. It's 2023, especially right now. Men getting anything from women, despite what you've heard. That doesn't happen a lot. It takes a rare dude to be able to receive things from women. And even when you do receive things from women, there is this thing that you... Like I said, you might be used to it from the percentage being a lot higher in the beginning of you being catered to as a woman it might be I know a lot of it is society Hansel a lot of you know what's hot right now that Hansel's so hot right now a lot of different things are causing it but despite the cause we as men do not get that much from you in general Yes, I know you do things for your man. Yes, I know you have. I know. I hear you. You ain't got to keep yelling at the screen. I got that. But what I mean is doing these things like a woman starting a date, offering, asking you, hey, do you want to go blah, 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 and her plan it and her allow you as the man to kick back and her handle that whole thing. Do you understand how infrequent that is? Very very infrequent so the fact that you do it at all starts to set you apart from other women and remember this is about how you keep your person this is about how you set yourself apart from other women so that another woman don't come in and swoop your man so do it and like I said earlier it is your job it is also your job to maintain this relationship it's not just about him doing for you and yes I know, you might be busy, you might have kids, you might have a job, you might be taking care of a No offense, but I don't care. We as men have jobs. We as men also be taking care of kids. We as men, and I do not give the men an excuse for not doing their job. So ladies, why would you give yourself an excuse? Don't allow yourself to have any reason as to why you don't do what you should be doing to maintain your own relationship and yes I still hear you saying stuff I do this I do okay I know you might do a lot 
and especially if you're starting to compare right now at this point in the video on the first element you're starting to compare between what you do versus what he does don't worry about him right now he already got his own video and try to remember that throughout the rest of these elements try not to allow yourself to say well he don't do this and he don't why should I if he doesn't do your best to do your job regardless or despite what he does worry about making sure that your end of the street is clean that your side of the whatever that a hundred percent you're doing your job a hundred percent of the time and he's doing his job a hundred percent now if he's not doing a hundred percent of his job you should still be doing a hundred percent of yours so that if things start to fall apart if things need to be fixed then at least you know you did your job you handled yours and also you should do it because why not he's your man right that should do it right you love him right you care about him right you want to maintain this yes you don't want him and all the things that he comes with going to someone else or at the very least not having it go to you so if he's your man if you love him why not so that's the first element ladies for you is make sure you do it element number two make him feel important yeah we love man girl you have no idea ladies how much your voice your thought of us your concept of who we are as you if you don't even know a guy your idea of who he is matters to most men let alone when he cares about you and you have his heart your thought of who he is massive so make him feel important make him feel like this day is about him that you're doing this because you love him because you care about him because he's earned this because oh baby you've done this you've you've done this for the family you've done that for the family and i just want to make sure you feel appreciated make him feel important make him feel like he's the mother man why not because again he's your man and this is the area ladies where you should be recognizing and appreciating those things about him meaning you take an inventory of he does this for us he does that for us and us meaning you and him as a team or you him and kids if you got kids what does he do for you and use that to propel you to do this now if you are saying right now he don't do nothing he's whack he hopefully this now we're just saying your mind might be saying that and another part of your mind might be trying not to because I already mentioned so hopefully you can keep that part in check but this is rarely will you get a man who cares about you who does nothing so if you feel like a dude is doing nothing this is the area in the time ladies where you should take a good cold hard look at is this really what's happening or is it just how you feel do you feel like he's doing nothing even though he's actually physically doing things now you might feel like he's not doing the right things but again try to wash all of that away try to again have this just be about what is my job as a woman what am I going to do? How am I going to behave in this relationship on this team? Am I going to do my part? You can do that in a few different ways. You can compliment him. We don't really get compliments as dudes. Not really. Now, you can compliment him on physical things. Like, you can grab his arm and be like, oh, baby, you're all right. What you been doing working out? You could be cheesy. It's okay. You could be touching his chest. You could be looking into his eyes. Be like, oh... I like that new haircut. We, again, we don't get as much as you get. But we do like some of the things y'all get. We don't get dates. We don't get compliments. Give him these things that he might be starving for. Things that he doesn't normally get. Talk about how great he is. Talk about his skills at the job. His skills of being a father. His skills of being a husband, a boyfriend. 
talk about his skills. Like, let's say he's in a dodgeball league and he's the greatest on the team. I don't know. Compliment him on his skills. You can compliment him. We like that too, especially from you. Because again, your voice, your opinion matters immensely to us. Another thing you can do, ladies, when you're out, when you're on the date or you're doing whatever you're doing, especially if you're out in public, use my statements. M Y. Use my statements. My statements for us as men, we love them because we are big on territory and ownership. So if you are taking territory and ownership of us, it makes us feel good. So what does this mean? That means when you're out in public and let's say you walk up to the restaurant where you have uh, reservations and you go up to the host or whatever and you're like, yeah, me and my husband, blah, 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 me and my man, me and my king. I know some of y'all just rolled your eyes when I said my king. And again, this is a good indicator right now, ladies, for you to determine where are you mentally in this relationship? Are you in a phase, are you in a position mentally where you feel it's wrong to give him higher level titles like king or my, I don't know. Is that weird for you? And if it is, I will ask you this question. Do you not like being called queen? Is that not a thing? Is that not a thing for you to even do it to other women? Be like, oh, Queen Bay talking about Beyonce. Or Queen Oprah talking about Oprah. You give these titles to women who you don't know? Why would you not give that title to your man? Especially if he calls you his queen. Why is he not your king? If you want him to call you his queen. If you want him to think of you as his queen. Can you not do the same thing for him? Is it a weird thing to do? Putting society aside, and what society has told you is, oh, why would you ever do anything for your man? That's really big right now. That's, that's Hansel. Don't do anything positive for your dude, but is society gonna be there for you when your dude leaves because you don't make him feel important? And I will tell you this as the last little piece of this, this element. This is one of the first, one of the first and most dangerous ways that other women take your man. Other women, when they are trying to get at your dude, they hone in on this because they know that you, a lot of you, a lot of you as women do not make your man feel important. So they roll in saying things like, wow, you're so good at this. You're so, you're so this, especially let's say she met him at work. She's going to compliment him on his skill. She's going to compliment him on his abilities to be a good person. And oh, you're really kind. And oh my gosh, like, wow, you're my mentor. You're my hero. You're my, they will say these words. They will use my statements, they will use compliments, and they will make, they will pump this dude's head up so much that he can't fit through a door. They will make your man feel important. So if you're not doing it, ladies, some other woman will. So if it's too hard for you, which again, you really gotta monitor that. Why is that? Why is it hard? It really shouldn't be shouldn't be hard to think of compliments for your man. It shouldn't be hard to make him feel important. If it is, dad, that's a problem. All right? So make him feel important. If you're not going to call him my king, can you call him my hero? Can you call him my husband, my, my man, my better half? Statements that men have used, again, for you for centuries. Almost every time I hear someone say my better half, it's a man talking about a woman. But it seems to be a problem, especially right now for a woman to say my better half about her man. Oh, that's because men aren't really better right now. Like the quality of men. Try not to let all that throw you off. Because again, we're talking about your man. And if you're not with a man who's 
great, good, that you can't think of a compliment about, again, that's a problem. But, as I said, you really need to determine, is that the reality of the situation, or is that just how you feel right now? Not discounting your feelings. Not saying you shouldn't have them. I'm saying, try not to let your feelings dictate your actions. Try to understand that you have your feelings, but you aren't controlled by your feelings. That you aren't your feelings. Element number three. Make sure you touch him. Yeah, that is a thing, ladies. Now, this is going to sound the same as the other ones I said, but we don't get these things very often. So you might touch him, like, you know, during... You know, bedroom time or whatever, but do you touch him? Are you affectionate with him? And at least during these times where you're the one controlling the date, you're the one running things, like you should be touching him. Not just to make him feel important and not just because he doesn't do it, but yo, we crave this. I would say damn near every single man on the planet, this is major for us to be touched by our woman slash a woman. Some dudes flip out if they have like a nurse at the hospital like graze his face. He's like, huh? Yeah. If, if they haven't been touched by a woman. So this is huge. Touch is a major language for us. We don't speak verbally as much as you. A lot of our language is nonverbal, physical. So you're speaking our language when you touch us. And where you touch us, ladies, touch us places that make us feel strong. Touch our bicep, touch our chest. And many of you ladies like touching dudes' biceps and chests anyway. Now if you got a dude or his bicep's not that big and his chest ain't that big, hey, do it anyway and give him a compliment even if he feels like you're not being entirely honest because of the fact that he doesn't get it all the time and because of the fact that you're his woman and he cares about you, he's gonna like it. If you find a way to make his flaws sexy to you, he's gonna take it in. Even if he has in the back of his head, I don't know if she's being honest, but he's still gonna smile thinking about how you said it. So if you're like, oh, I like dad bods, I like your, your fluffy stomach, it, it's comforting and it's warm at night when we go to sleep, and I lay on your stomach. He might think you might be lying, but at the same time, he gonna love it, though. So touch him. Touch him. Now, this also crosses over, ladies, into another element I know you might be thinking about, which is, I'm supposed to take this for on a date? I ain't got no money. Ladies, this is something else that's also slanted in your benefit. You could do a whole date where that's all you're doing is touching this dude. And yes, gentlemen, you're welcome. Ladies, let's say you want to put something together where you're doing it. Element number one, making him feel important. Element number two, and you're touching him. Element number three, like you tell him to come home. You make dinner. You tell him to go take a shower. Get, you know, when he gets home from work. You know, get undressed, put on some comfortable clothes. He has dinner, you guys have dinner and nice clothes, whatever you want to do. And then afterward, you turn off the light, you take him back to the bedroom, you make him lay down, and you give him an oil massage, a full body massage. You're massaging his feet, his hands, his back, his booty. Y'all need to be touching each other's booties. Like, I don't know, like, how y'all not touching each other's Other people be touching your people's booties. You need to be the first one touching booties. You don't like touching no. Y'all ain't touching enough booties. That's, that's why your people get robbed. Y'all ain't touching enough booties. Booty rubbing. Rub the booty. You could give him a full body massage. Didn't cost you any money. You made dinner. You made him feel important. You're commenting on how much you love his body and you love him and how great of a father he is. You think he ain't gonna like that? You think he ain't gonna appreciate that? He's going to remember that forever. Especially if it's the first time you've done it to him, with him. It might be the first time he's getting that ever in his life, ladies. Now, you, on the other hand, might have had a dude, you know, give you a full body massage. Now, I know you men watching this with your ladies, you ain't trying to think about that. Sorry for the visual. 
but the concept of what I mean, ladies, is that even if you're not spending any money, you touching him in these ways, in these places that make him feel important and good, that touch is going to bring you closer. And because he ain't used to this, he's not used to being pampered, he's not used to being touched and rubbed down. Now, if you are a dude who's used to this, hey, don't act like you wouldn't like it again. Even Warren Buffett would pick up an extra hundred dollars if he found it on the ground. Just because you got it all the time doesn't mean you don't appreciate it when it happens. If it's that good, and touching for us is that good, we gon' like it. We gon' like it. There's a very rare dude who's just like, ah, I'm just I'm so tired of all these women just rubbing on me. Right. Mm-hmm. That's a rare mother. That ain't you. That ain't you. So that's the end of today's class. Now, I know this class is free, but pay the fee with a thumb. Either up or down, let a brother know whether you love it or hate it. Now, we are a new channel here, so we're trying to grow. Make sure you subscribe yourself. Let other people know about the subscription process. Have them subscribe, share the video, and especially if you have a girlfriend or other friends, moms, cousins, whatever, who need to hear this, let everybody hear it. Let everybody know. And you should be watching this with your man so he should know too. All right? Now I know you enjoying these lessons, okay? So, come on back. Click on another video. Get some more learning in. Until next time, though.